What is up everybody? Welcome back to Superpower Reviews. My name is Liam Smith. Today we're taking a look at another second edition Kota Bakio statue. This one is Zatanna. Okay, so first thing we'll take a look at the box. This is the standard double-sided window box that you always see on the Kota Bakio statues. It has a window on the front showing a statue. A little bit hard to see in there because it is wrapped up in plastic. Have an animated image of Zatanna at the bottom. Flipping around to the side of the statue, have a full animated image of the statue, an artist's rendering of what it would look like. And flipping around to the back of the box, it states that it is a 1 7th scale Zatanna statue. So it is a decent size, a little bit bigger than that 1 10th you normally see in Kota Bakia. And this one also showing the artist's rendering right alongside the actual statue. You can see how accurate that is to the artist's rendering. Kota Bakia is always excellent with that. All right, let's go ahead and get the Kotobukiya Zatanna 2nd Edition statue out of the box and take a closer look. Now, as I always say with the Kotobukiya statues, they just knock it out of the park with the details. And this one is probably one of my favorites so far, just taking a quick glance on it. The quality they got into this one, the details, just absolutely amazing. They're always amazing, but this one, they went a couple steps ahead of that, and I'll tell you what I mean by that in just a minute. So starting at the top, we got the hair sculpt, always excellent with that, it's PVC of course, and they did a great job with the individual locks in the hair. They definitely kept it a straight jet black, there's really not much shading of any kind, but that's just what Zatanna's hair looks like. Moving down to the face, the classic Kotobukiyo perfection in the face. Just take a look at the eyes, the eyes are a main thing, I'm going to get a close up here so you can see that. The eyes are the main thing that they always nail. I don't know how they get such fine detail into the eyes, but they nail it every time. You got the blue iris, the really detailed eyelashes and eyeliner around the eyes. Everything on the face, as always, is done perfect. Very intricate lines, absolute perfection. Okay, let me spin the statue a little bit to what would be the front of her, but it's actually the side of the statue because it is meant to be posed like this based on the logo on the, the base and the way that she's looking. So looking at the front of her suit, excellent job here. I mean, again, knocked it out of the park. The multiple layers here with the jacket, the ruffled shirt, the vest underneath that. Each piece is a completely separate sculpted piece layered on top. That's one thing that sets Kotobukiya apart from other manufacturers is the way they layer their clothing. A lot of companies will just have the shapes of the clothing sculpted into one piece. But what they do here is separate layers. The bodysuit on the bottom, the vest, the coat, the shirt, everything is a completely separate sculpted piece. You can even see when I spin it around, there is a red color inside of the jacket. You can barely see that there, but they went to the length of painting the inside of the jacket. Now, speaking of the suit, one of the most impressive things here, talking about mixed media, separate layers, things like that, the fishnets are not painted on the legs. That's an actual fishnet material. That's rare in a statue, typically, a pattern like that you would just see painted on, printed on to the skin itself. This is actually a fabric fishnet stocking. And speaking of the legs and separate pieces, the leather boots, absolutely perfect. The way they are separate pieces, once again, they don't just sculpt right into the leg. The stockings tuck into it because they are a separate piece. And as always, they get their movement and their bends really perfectly around the knee where the leg bends, the leather folds, just like it would do naturally, just like it is around the ankle. Taking a look at the top hat, matte finish on that, just like the coat. I mentioned the red color under the jacket. It follows underneath the tail of the coat as well. Very awesome details in the coat, by the way. The fine lines they sculpted into there, the buttons with the buckles and the straps, everything very highly detailed and very excellently done. Even to the small details like the hands, the positioning, of the fingers, the white paint on the gloves, everything about it, perfection. So moving on down to the base, it is a really nice kind of pinkish purple color with a metallic paint on it, has the double Z for Zatanna. It's a simple base, but it was done really well. It doesn't distract from the character at all. And because it is a color next to her mostly black and white outfit, it really gives it a little bit of a pop that it needed to set it off from the character. Overall, I'm very happy with this statue. It's like I said earlier, probably one of my favorite Kotobukiya statues in their entire line. And that's saying a lot because they have a lot of excellent statues. This one just stands out with the dynamic pose, the paint apps, 
the sculpting, the layering I was talking about with the outfit. Everything about it is just absolute perfection. So now we'll go ahead and get the close-ups, the 360 degree view, scan around the statue, give you a closer look of all the details that I'm talking about on this amazing Cotabakia Zatanna statue. leave a comment below let me know what you thought of this statue and of course don't forget to subscribe that way you won't miss any upcoming content thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next video